to our channel. My name is Karen Rufer. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make tallow lotion bars. And I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful little container to store your lotion bars in. A perfect handmade gift, especially for Valentine's. Tallow is the ultimate moisturizer for our skin, and it also absorbs easily, making it the perfect ingredient to use in lotion bars. A non-greasy lotion bar is really important to me because I like to take a lotion bar in my purse everywhere I go, and I like to keep a lotion bar beside my bed to use for my nighttime skincare routine. I got the idea to make these little containers for my beautiful niece, Kayla. For Christmas, she gave little gifts of hand cream and little jars that she decorated the tops of the jars with vintage broken jewelry and buttons and dollies, and they turned out so cute, so I thought they would be really cute for a Valentine's Day gift. Kayla is the creator of the YouTube channel, Kayla Ann. Go over there and subscribe and watch her videos and follow her on her journey as she renovates a 1984 Airstream trailer. What you will need to make the tallow lotion bars is a little pot. I like to use this just for all my beauty products. This canning ring is really good, you know, to step in for a, like a double boiler effect. I like to use half cup canning jars for everything so that if I have any extras, I can just put a lid on it and melt it later. You'll need measuring spoons. I like to use the little wooden popsicle sticks to stir it. You'll need a silicone mold. I wanted little hearts because it's Valentine's. And of course your beautiful beef tallow. And make sure you watch the video of how to render it because we like that really sweet smelling creamy white tallow. Use the highest quality olive oil that you can find. And for my face, if I'm making lotion bars, I'll use the ro rose hip seed oil, which is organic. I like to use a few drops of frankincense essential oils. This is a very large block of beeswax. I bought about eight years ago and I barely used any, but uh, just try to buy from a local source. I think I paid $20 for that. You'll need a cookie sheet because your silicone mat, you'll need to be able to carry it around and you don't want to spill. Also a jar lifter that's used in canning is really great. Okay, I shave a little bit of the beeswax and I'm going to put two teaspoons of beeswax in the bottom of the jar. I like to start with that because that's where the heat is on the bottom and I like it to, you know, it's the hardest to melt. Now for the beautiful beef tallow that we're going to use one tablespoon of grass-fed beef tallow. Okay, two teaspoons of the oil of your choice. I'm using a high quality olive oil, um, or if I'm using the lotion bars for my face, I use rose hip seed oil. Make sure they're organic and hexane free. You want to clean around the edge of your jar so that when it's melting, your um, if there's anything on the edge that it doesn't go into your pan. I like to put, once again, the canning ring in the bottom of the pan. And I put water just almost level with the canning ring. Just maybe a tiny bit above. Because I want it, you know, I want it to make sure that I, it doesn't bubble up into my jar. I just stir until it's melted. Carefully remove the jar. And I'm just gonna set it aside and let it cool for just a minute before I put my frankincense essential oils in it. I just use a few drops, like maybe five. Now 
Now this recipe makes about two tablespoons and that's just enough to do two hearts. Let me tell you why I think you should just make a small amount because you know a lot of recipes say like a cup of beef tallow. What if you didn't like the ratios? With just you know two tablespoons I just like to make it as I go. Um, also you want to save any of your extra beeswax. I just have a little jar. Okay, what you will need to make the little gold boxes. Of course, you'll need gold tins. They're one ounces and the lid screws on. I really love it. I'll leave a link below. These cute little heart-shaped rhinestone and pearls. They're so cute. You'll need alcohol wipes and tweezers and gloves. And of course, the JB Weld, but make sure you use the clear. So it's really important that you clean the surface of where you're going to use the JB Weld. Make sure there's no oil or dirt. And I just like to, um, I use this for my camera lens. I just like to quickly clean. very important with your JB Weld that you do mix the two um, liquids because I didn't at first and my hearts did not stick. But they have this little funnel thing uh, to put on the end that is really useful. There you have it, the beautiful little gift boxes to store your beautiful tallow lotion bars. I just left my lotion bars to, you know, to harden for a few minutes and I did not refrigerate, but you can put them in the refrigerator or the freezer if you're in a hurry. I think these make a beautiful little gift and perfect for Valentine's. Thank you for watching our video today. I hope I've inspired you to make your own lotion bars. I know this will be your favorite recipe. From our Texas Hill Country Farmstead to you, have a blessed day, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.